Hello all you bladers! Today we're going to be doing a DB slash BU Beyblade Burst Marathon in a Hasbro Quad Drive Stadium. So this should be interesting because the stadium has some slopes here and an inner dip where I have all the bays in there. So that should be some pretty interesting maybe accelerations, ran around the stadiums, and just interesting battles overall. So let's see what happens. Guilty Longinus versus Chain Kirbyus. Chain Kirbyus. Okay, Guilty is doing some acceleration around the ramps. Kirbyus is just chilling in the center. Ooh. Hard hit there. Now Kirbyus is going to spell ooh. Yeah, so you can already tell that you can kind of see how long and it's already rode around the ramps, and you kind of get most of the battle in this inner dip here, long and wins there. But yeah, you get most of the battle in this inner dip here, so there should be some nice accelerations. Raphael, chilling in the center. Riding a ridge now, they're battling for who's going to get the upper edge. That Halo is just pushing Guilty down, and Raphael is going to just kill that Destroy Driver and take the win from here. You can perfectly see the Halo right now. Perfect. Nice hit from Raphael in defense mode. You can see how it's just riding the ridge, giving Divine some hits. Ooh. That sounded like it was really heavy. Greatest Raphael. Let's see if Raphael can take it now. Not even with those hard hits and the sword even activated there. Not even that could take Excalibur or Raphael down. Let's try and end this with first friggin. Spriggan's on the counter. Spriggan's on the counter now. Okay, now it's just a stamina battle rolling around the edge. Raphael's really doing well in this stadium. I think it's because it's so tall that the other bays kind of scrape on the ridge. Raphael is kind of able to just endure when they're in this small pit. As, it's, as you can see, it like pushes the other bays under it. I don't think that's... Oof. It takes out Burst Spriggan, too. Raphael's going undefeated right now. Let's see if Cyclone Ragnarok... Eat Raphael right now, it's gonna be just a very solid stamina type. Yeah, Ragnarok's gonna get oh no way, no way. Raphael wins again. If it doesn't if if uh Gatling Dragon or Ultimate Valkyrie can't beat it, I don't know what we're gonna do with this. Like, it's, it's going undefeated right now. It's kind of missing hits, though. That's the whole point of these little ramps here. Yeah, it's not really... It's not really landing the hits, is it? Maybe last second? How burst Spriggan does against Zyphon. Mm. Zyphon delivers some really hard business. And burst Spriggan takes the win there. Stable with that. Okay, Divine is just 
using all that gears, all that weight, just chilling in the center, and making it a stamina battle against Excalibur. That was divine, but just barely with that VS gear. You can tell Excalibur really like hits the base to where they jump up. Like, I wonder what happens if you put uh, Ragnarok against Excalibur because it's already so low. Barely getting away without bursting. Chain Curbius without the Curbius 4, obviously, because I don't have that. Very hard hit against Curbius there. That was. It only took two clicks there with Curbius. The Phoenix core is pretty tight. I could use Curvius on this if I wanted to, but I don't want to wear down the teeth, and it's basically the same thing, you could say. Let's do Vanish, Fafnir. Massive counterattack by Fafnir. Fafnir is just chilling at the edge. Massive counterattack at delivery definitely killed Guilty Spin a little. Now it's just down to... I don't know who won that. But it looks like Fafnir is very, very close to bursting. Let's try Astral Spriggan in stamina counterclockwise mode. KO'd there, and I don't, I'm not even sure if that thing's a pocket, but it like, it's sent, it's, it was sent across the stadium, like fully. And that was guilty, I believe. This is gonna be in We haven't done Prominence Phoenix. Armor comes off. The thing with this stadium is that the armor can't get knocked out of the stadium unless you hit it like airborne. So Phoenix kind of has the edge here if it gets the armor inside the dip. The armor's just too far out now, so it's really not going to do much. So it comes down to can Phoenix OS guilty? I think it should be able to with that. Mmm, that was really hard to tell, but Guilty moved the very, very last second there. Let's go ahead and try Xiphoid against Phoenix. Kind of same color scheme. That was an extremely hard hit. It like dislocated the armor. Outside the box I'm using in this right now. That completely knocked the armor out. I don't think Phoenix is gonna survive this one. Killing the stamina it has there. But mm, it might take it, it might take it. Ah, Phoenix. Last, last second. Zest Achilles, counterclockwise shield stamina mode. So many Achilles is taking it. Ooh, ooh, it jumped, it jumped, it jumped. It jumped. That was guilty. Chris.
a dangerous is weird here because it's pretty like it's obviously not very good, but in a stadium like this. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say it might out spin guilty, just maybe, but it really it wouldn't really do that well anyway, I guess. Let's try fat here against this caliber. Now that was a very good jump. That was a very good jump. It's just trying to push Fafnir out, but they can't find a pocket. It's like, in a battle like this, you know Fafnir is going to come out. Excalibur just tries to hit it as hard as it can, and it can't really do anything. That was smooth. How it, like, stayed up like that. And the kick driver is like, it's weird in the stadium. Because it almost like it stays up. But it's like, it's not. It's weird. Very weird. Let's try first Spriggan against Dangerous Belial. Spriggan's just holding up there. Got a bunch of bays outside here. Alright, Dangerous Belial takes it now. We're gonna do one last battle, Burst, Spriggan, and Ultimate Valkyrie, and we're gonna end this marathon. Okay, we're gonna end this marathon off strong. Burst, Spriggan, and Ultimate Valkyrie. Hard hit for Valkyrie there. Very nice acceleration. Nice movement from Spriggan. Just trying to avoid contact with the Valkyrie. Ooh. Very nice. And Spriggan is going to clutch the win there. So yeah, Greatest Raphael definitely had the largest like undefeated streak. It was it's very tall and it's got over in high extent plus dash, plus it's perma fused high mode. It's like it's just very unbeatable in this stadium because it's so the dip is so low and there's definitely a lot of like big collisions in this stadium. There's lots of like, dip can have a lot of things. We saw a lot of big jumps with Xiphoid and Guilty. Uh, we didn't really get to do Gatling that much. Neither did we do Astral. Dangerous actually was, well, it was per usual, not that very good. Zest did pretty well. It was very stable against Guilty, and yeah, that was very fun. Lots of big hits with this marathon type of stadium, and yeah, so let me know if you guys want to see some more stadiums. I don't really have too many in stock, but I do have a like Slingshock Stadium, Snake Pit Stadium, I have a big Decagon Stadium that the videos I released like a couple, like a year or two back, I recorded in that stadium a lot, and that was very fun also, I still have that here, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video, subscribe if you enjoyed, have fun, and don't forget to keep on blading!